This was Savita Halapanova celebrating the Diwali Festival of Lights with her husband Praveen. They lived together in the Irish town of Galway. Now she's a newspaper headline. She became pregnant but at 17 weeks went into hospital in pain, miscarrying. The hospital wouldn't carry out an abortion. This is a Catholic country, a medic apparently told them. She died of blood poisoning in agony. The thing that's wrong with this headline is that she wasn't a mum-to-be. Abortion, of course, is illegal in Ireland. It's based around the same thinking that the Catholic Church has about the sanctity of life. And yet when Savita went into hospital, she had already started to miscarry. What the hospital seems to have done is to make a decision to put a woman's life in danger in order to protect the rights of a fetus that had no chance of surviving. This shocking case has not only forced Ireland to confront its own contradictions about human rights, but comes as the political class here is having to face a demand from the European Court of Human Rights as to whether there are any circumstances in which abortion should be allowed. If a case like this, taken together with the cumulative effects of 20 years of inaction, taken together with thousands of women travelling every year for a termination, taken together with the European Court of Human Rights telling us to get our house in order, If all of that together doesn't motivate the government to legislate properly and clearly, it's impossible to see what would. Politicians known for their opposition to abortion suggest there's no need for new laws. This is, a, if you like, a, a tragic, a freak situation that has arisen. Um, I don't think, you know, you will always have cases like this. Sadly, med- medicine is not an exact, exact science. You will have cases like this in other countries where we have very different laws around the care of women uh, in, in pregnancy. And even now, even after this, some of the faithful here cannot reconcile Savita's case with their own beliefs. You're taking life. But she was miscarrying, the baby yeah, was know, already yeah, dead. Yes, 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 I know that, yeah. But so, so, so there wasn't a life to be taken? Yeah. I know what you're saying. I still don't approve of abortion, though. Right, so you think the hospital did the right thing? Yeah, I think so. So Savita Halapanova has now become a symbol for Ireland's pro-abortion campaigners, since her death, entirely avoidable, could have been any other woman's here. Opponents of abortion describe themselves as pro-life. These people, and Savita's family, would not agree. Lawrence Lee, Al Jazeera, Dublin.